Now, I see that we have, um, we have some time left tonight, and that's nice, because I've got some rather special things in mind, uh, things I'd like to talk about. Now, naturally, any war is going to bring us predominantly unhappy memories, but I'm sure that everybody who had anything to do, to do with the war, and my only contribution, incidentally, was his working as an entertainer overseas and at army installations in this country, uh, doing shows for the forces, uh, but from those experiences, I have some happy memories. One of the happiest parts is that on much of this trooping, I was accompanied by a very close and dear friend of mine, who at that time was also my radio partner, Jimmy Durante. And oh, the experiences that we had. It kind of changed our whole lives around. For one thing, I remember one morning we were supposed to play a, an army camp down in Indio, California. That was about 175 miles, I believe, from, uh, uh, from Los Angeles. And then we had to start very early in the morning, so I talked Schnoz into getting up at 4 a.m. Uh, that was very rare for him, because usually he goes to bed at 4 a.m. <laughs> but we got him to bed early that night, and at 4 a.m. I drove up to his house, woke him up, got him out of bed, and as he came down the walk from his house to come out to my car to drive down to the army camp, he started banging on every tree that he passed. And he was kicking the trees, and he was shaking the trees, and I said, Jimmy, what are you shaking the trees for? He said, when Durant is awake, no boy sleeps. <laughs> and I will tell you that Jimmy Durante is without a doubt one of the greatest gentlemen I have ever known. That's my boy who said that. Thank you. Boy, it's a real pleasure to be working with you again, Gary. You know, the five most valuable show business years of my life were spent learning from Jimmy Durante, with him as my, as my partner. And do you know, Jim, I was telling you, how long it's been since we've been together? About eight years. Eight years. You see, he is with NBC, and I am with CBS, and never the twain shall meet. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. I'd be without a job tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad you sneaked over tonight. Say, so, hey, Gary. Yeah. You know, looking over the scripts, I remember the first joke we told together. You remember it? I think we were, the sponsor was Winston. Yeah. And the joke went to, do you remember? Camels. No, Winston. Winston? You Winston. wake it for Winston. Oh, All right, Winston, Winston. Winston. <laughs> Winston. Yeah. Remember I, the first joke we said was, I walked into the automat the other day, and I put a lead nickel in the splat. And what do you think came out? The manager. <laughs> Well, yeah, Gary. Listen, talking about, talking about scripts, I was going through the files the other day when I knew that you were coming over here, and I dragged out a routine from a show that we did on June 2nd, 1944. Well, well. Now, I haven't given him a look at this, because this is one of several sketches like it that we used to do. Are you game to have a try at it tonight? You don't mind if I wear my glasses? You wear glasses now? I only use them for reading and fighting. <laughs> well, let me, get a, let me get a microphone to make it like radio. Go ahead, Gary. And I'll look at Faye a minute. <laughs> now, 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 we look like, now we look like radio, right? Carrie. Yeah? CBS, if you don't mind, huh? <laughs> well, well, Jim, did you see all the pretty girls down in the orchestra pen? How do you do, girls? Okay, Snoz, let's get started, huh? Now, these routines used to start by Jimmy inviting me to go someplace with him after the show, and then I would say something like this. I would say, I'd love to go dancing at the Palladium with you and your girl, Jimmy, but I'm due at work in five minutes. You see, I've taken on a new job, Jimmy. You've taken on a new job, Junior? Yes, I've taken on a new job, Jimmy. Well, tell me, where is your new job located, Junior? Why, my new job is on a shady shore near Charlottesville called Shallow Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. Your new job is on a shady shore near Charlottesville called Shallow Shoals, Virginia, Junior? <laughs> yes, my new job is on a shady shore near Charlottesville called Shallow Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. I've got a feeling I'm going to regret this. <laughs> now tell me, who's your new job with on a shady shore near Charlottesville, near Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Junior? Why, my new job is with a ship-shaped machine shop on a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. Your new job is with a ship-shaped machine shop on a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Junior. <laughs> you haven't improved. Yes, my new... <laughs> My new, new job is with a ship-shaped machine shop on the Shady Shore near Charlottesville called Shallow Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. For this, I learned how to read. <laughs> well, tell me, who do you wait for in your new job at a ship-shaped machine shop on a Shady Shore near Charlottesville called Shallow Shoals, Virginia, Junior? Why, 
I work for the rear end mender and fender bender in a ship shape machine shop in the shape of the Virginia, Jimmy. You wait for the rear end mender and fender bender in a ship shape machine shop in a shady show in each other, but it's called show, but you get Yes, I work for the rear end mender and fender bender in a ship shape machine shop in a shady show in Charlottesville, called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. All this started from a nodding acquaintance. <laughs> well, tell me. What do you do in your new job for a rear end mender and friend of machine at, at the ship? Let me start that again. <laughs> well, tell me, what do you do in your new job for a rear end mender and friend of bender at a ship shaped machine shop in a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shore? But you get you. What do I do? I'm a motor meter mileage reader for the rear end mender and fender bender at a ship shaped machine shop in a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. You're a motor meter mileage reader for the rear end mender and fender bender at a ship shaped machine shop in a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. I mean, Virginia, Jimmy. <laughs> yes, I'm a motor meter mileage reader for the rear end mender and fender bender at a ship shaped machine shop in a shady shore near Charlottesville called Charlotte Shoals, Virginia, Jimmy. He hit me after the bell rang. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you mean to tell me? What do you do? Get paid for being a motor meter mile mileage reader at the rear end fender mender at a ship shaped machine shop on the Sadie Shore near Charlotte Boat Call, Shallow Shoals, Virginia Junior? Yes. I get the paltry pittance of a penny a pound as a motor meter mileage reader for the rear end mender at fender bender at a, at a, at a, at a Oh, here I go. At a ship shaped machine shop on the Sadie Shore near Charlottesville called That's Shallow all. That's all, Junior. Ring down the curtain. Call off the show. Oh, you're admitting defeat, eh? You're hoisting the white flag. Hoisting the white flag? From now on, I'm wearing my nose at half mask. <laughs> Fond memories, Junior. It sure does. Well, Jim, you know, this being Armed Forces Week and uh, the occasion of a long overdue reunion between you and me, by the way, uh, I have arranged a special salute for you tonight as a surprise. From the uh, Westover Air Base, the Westover Air Force Base, Carleers are here tonight. Let's get the Carleers out here, fellas. Come on out. <laughs> Fellas are and sing with enough gusto. <laughs> Listen, now give it, give it nice feeling and really hit it out, will you? you now, you follow me and I'll, I'll, you I'll sing it with All right. you. All right, maestro, hit it. You gotta start on me. This has been a good night. It's been a wonderful evening. Panel, you were here more or less as spectators tonight. <laughs> Thank you. For it. Very good show. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, you have the worst seats in the house. Most of it is played out that way. But I want to just remind you that Jimmy Durante opens tomorrow night at the Copa Cabana here in New York. This is always a great event in New York when Jimmy comes to the Copa. So if you're in town, get over there. And uh, panel, I hope that you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. I will not be here next week because I'm going to goof off and go for a week of sailing in my boat. But I am uh, sending in my place a guy you know and respect highly, a good friend of mine, Mr. Don McNeil, oh, who will be here next week. Be nice to him as he will be nice to you. And I guess that's about um, everything there is to say until uh, the
the panel sees you next week, and I see you the week after. Jimmy, if you got anything that you'd like to say as a closing thought or anything? If you don't mind, Gary, I'd like to say something. I hope it ain't eight years before we work together again. And I want to say good night, folks, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. Mark Goodson, Bill Tadman production. The Women's Armed Corps Band appears through the courtesy of the American Federation of Musicians, James C. Petrillo, President. Music under the supervision of Milton Deluxe. This is John Cannon speaking. <laughs>